Well, number one, uh, prior to Rick even being put into this position, I've been very stringent, very, very strong on the point that we have to cross some party lines if we need to. This is at a point right now, uh, the industry is building in Michigan. It's sort of like planting a, a seed and putting it in the ground. And then as soon as it starts to pop up, before you really have a chance to fertilize it and to get it going, somebody steps on it and squashes it. This is something that if, if we really truly believe that this is an industry that's, that's feasible, that can go on here, we are going to have to group together, whether you're an independent, Republican, or a Democrat, and you need to look at this seriously and take your vote over to the, to the candidate that's going to follow through. And I am definitely, um, um, if I had been voting and I didn't have a chance to vote in the primary, I would have voted for Rick. I'm extremely disappointed. I'm very, very, I'm disappointed to the fact that he, uh, that he made the statement, but I'm glad he made it because I'm one of the ones that's been pushing and saying we need to do this as a grouping together. Michigan has got so much to offer. Um, it's, it's proven. We've got, we've got producers. We have people that are coming in from the East Coast, from the West Coast. If, if the tax incentive is, is deleted completely, we're gone. Look at what Louisiana is doing. They're bringing up their percentages. Look at New York. Look at, at, at uh, um, I believe it was uh, Connecticut that just, that just raised theirs. Atlanta, Georgia just brought theirs up. Um, they're all coming up to meet the competition that's here in Michigan. And now suddenly Michigan's saying we're going to drop out of the race. Uh, but we've got to put somebody in office. And I'm not, I'm not saying that, uh, that he's any better than Rick Snyder would be as a governor, but as an industry, We've got to follow behind this the same way as the union would do, whether you're a union member or a non-union, uh, it doesn't really matter. This is eventually going to fall into something very similar to the unions, whether you're a SAG member, whether you're AFTRA. Um, if, if it grows to the point that we want it to grow to, eventually a higher percentage of, of people are going to be joining the union. You've got to come into that thinking pattern. And it's strength within the numbers. It's strength within our own people. Unless, unless Mr. Snyder comes back and says, let's rethink this, uh, no, he's lost my vote. I'm sorry.